a film on it, like a film. You know what I mean? Like a film. I don't know if I meet if I if I meeks. I'm more excited about this than some of the makeup because it tastes so good. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got April favorites here for you today and I've got some kind of like random favorites to tell you about. I've got a couple of food favorites that I've been really loving that I want to share with you and then a couple of skincare favorites. Well, maybe just one. Well, yeah, two. I have two skincare favorites, a hair care, and then I'm going to quickly run through my overall Friday favorites. So let's jump into it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, I do have to mention my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette just because I love this. I think it's adorable. I think it's really nice quality. And I just have been reaching for it a lot. I just, I feel bad mentioning it because I know it's just been crazy town with like the release of it and just availability has been really, really crazy. So I feel kind of bad talking about it, but I feel like I'm not being honest if I don't say this is one of my overall monthly favorites because it's, it's one of my favorites. And then also I really, really enjoy these Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows. These are kind of the two standouts for me that I reach for the most. This one is Not A Wink Pink, and this one is Dusk Till Bronze. I am wearing this one with some of the colors from the Sweet Peach Palette. These are just like so metallic and amazing, and they do have some like shimmer in them, but I just, I love them, and I think they're amazing. I think they're amazing by themselves. I think that they're amazing as bases. So yes, I do have a review video on these if you wanna see those and the Sweet Cream Liquid lipsticks. I will link that for you. For blush overall, I have to pick my Benefit Dandelion Dew because I just love this. I think it's adorable. I think it's like such a sweet, girly, pink, princess looking blush. I think it's just amazing. I think it's so pigmented. It lasts really well. I am wearing it today, but then I do have the regular powder dandelion over this, and then I also have highlights. So it's there but it's got a lot going on over it. But just know, this is amazing, and I've already talked about it a lot on my channel. For lips, I have to say my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks again. I picked these for last month too, but just overall, I feel like these are still my standouts, and I was still reaching for them this month. I'm wearing a couple today, like mixed together. I have Saki, which is kind of like a maroon sort of color, and then Sugar Cane, which is kind of like a light nudie pink. I just think these are amazing. Everything about them I love. The wear time, how they feel on the lips, the colors, how they have great ingredients. They're just amazing. And I have been all about that highlight life this month. I could just like run through a bajillion highlights. I love the Urban Decay highlights. I have a review video on these. They're amazing and gorgeous. I really love this e.l.f. baked blush in Pinktastic. This is beautiful. Love that. Mention that in the Friday Favorites if you wanna see um, a swatch of it. Same, I don't know if I mentioned the Urban Decay one. I don't think I mentioned that in a Friday Favorites, but I do have a review on that. Um, the Wet n Wild highlighting powders from the Summer Collection, amazing. The like little stick kind of um, cream sort of highlights from that collection, love those too. And then I've also been reaching for my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I don't think I've mentioned this in any other videos other than a haul, but it's just like a gorgeous gold, Amazing highlight. I do have this on the inner corners of my eyes. Mm-hmm. There's a reason this has a lot of hype around it because it is beautiful. It looks gorgeous in the packaging. Like the little swirl is so cute. It looks like a dessert to me. Like just like icing, you know? Which I, I think that's what they were going for with the gelato swirl or whatever. But it's just super cute, really nice quality, and a wha-bam golden highlight. I do have a makeup-related fail this month, and this is a really like sad, disappointing fail because I like this, but then it, it just doesn't work for me, but I think it's more me and my oily eyelid situation. But anyway, let me just tell you about it. So this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Love the packaging, so fancy and amazing. I really do love what this does for the lashes. I mean, it gives you va voom volume lashes, just like gorgeous, thick looking lashes. So I love the way it looks. I love what it does. I love how it builds on itself, but it smudges like crazy on me. I mentioned this a bajillion times before, but I'm the test case as far as that goes. Like pretty much the only mascaras that don't smudge on me are the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascaras. Those are pretty much the only ones that don't smudge all over my face. Um, so if you are not in that category, if you don't have that issue, 
then I think you might really love this because it has gorgeous volume. It looks really, really beautiful on the lashes. But if you have a smudging issue, if things get up on your eyelid, then I probably wouldn't recommend this because I mean, it was like really, really fast. It did it more than most do. Most mascaras will smudge up here, but this was like, I don't know, within an hour or two, I would look in the mirror and it would be, it's usually like right in here. It's always that part of my eyelid. I don't know why, but it, it just looks so bad, so bad. Like I have a second set of eyelashes up on my eyelid. So it was a fail, but a sad fail because I think it would work for a lot of people probably. And I have a cute little baby perfume favorite this month. This is the Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. So I got this through Influencer and I was really kind of wondering about it because I'm probably not alone in this that I'm really picky about perfumes and so many of them bother me and just, I don't like them, you know what I mean? So I was really wondering how this was gonna work out, but I actually really like it. It kind of reminds me of Viva La Juicy, which is one of my like top three favorite perfumes ever because it's very light and a little bit floral, a little bit fruity and just a little bit sweet, I don't know, but. I just love that perfume, and this reminds me of that. It's fresh, it's girly, it's flirty, it's florally and fruity, and I don't even know what the notes in it are, but I'll link it for you so you can read about it, but just, I think if you like Viva La Juicy like I do, I think you would possibly like this because it reminds me of it, but it's not like an overpowering sort of a scent. I think it's really good for the warmer weather. I think it's just perfect for that. And it's just cute and little and adorable. A couple of skincare favorites. So I have been breaking out this month, I think just hormones. And then I've also been taking some vitamins that are kind of like detoxing vitamins. And you know, when you're detoxing, sometimes it shows up on your face and comes out through your skin. So that's been happening with me. So I've been using this a lot more this month. This is the Serious Skincare Continuously Clear Acne Medication for Problematic Skin, Gommage Skin Clearing Beauty Treatment Medicated Exfoliating Mask. Mm-hmm. Really just the name is Gommage Skin Clearing Beauty Treatment. But basically, this reminds me a lot of the Glam Glow, like the original clay one. This just will bring things out of your skin, really help to bring it out so that you can treat it and get rid of it. So I love this. I feel like it's just a really deep, effective treatment for when I'm breaking out and it's a lot more affordable than the Glam Glow. So I get serious skincare off of HSN and I just think it's awesome. And mine looks dirty because I've been using it. <laughs> I have been loving this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. This is the three-in-one makeup melting cleansing balm. So basically this is just like a makeup removing cleansing balm. And I have been using this most for when I'm doing lip swatch videos. And this has been saving my lips because it will remove it really well, but it feels nourishing. And I mean, just this would be this way on your skin too, where it just doesn't feel parched and dry and sucked of all life and moisture. It just actually feels nourished. So especially for lip swatch videos, if you make videos, I would say get this for that especially, but even for just a cleansing balm for your whole face, it just removes the makeup without stripping your skin of everything good. So this was like making my lips not get super dry or anything like that. It was just hydrating them and making it feel great. And it's so effective. It really does remove the makeup and just make your skin feel great. My hair care favorite this month is the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I think it's been a while because I haven't had this for a while, but this is pretty much just my favorite heat protectant. Like I've tried other ones and I just go back to this one because it's really affordable. I feel like it's effective. It doesn't weigh down my hair. That's a big thing. A lot of heat protectants like make my hair feel, I don't know, how would I describe it? Like. I don't know, silicone-y or like there's some sort of a film on it, like a film, you know what I mean? Like a film, I don't know. Cause it's not like it's oily. I don't know why I'm doing this. Cause I, I didn't, I use this today. So my hair doesn't feel like this. So why am I doing this? But it just protects your hair without making it feel so weighed down and disgusting. And it smells really good too. It smells like sun ripened raspberries. 
Yeah, like Bath and Body Works, Sun Ripe and Raspberry. It smells so much like that to me. I love this. So I love the packaging, love the scent, and I think it works really well and love the price tag. And lastly, my food favorites that I have been so excited to share with you. I don't know why, but especially the last one I'm about to share. So first off is a creamer. This is the Nestle Coffee Mate Chocolate Toffee Truffle. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So the Dolce de Leche, which is like my overall favorite will probably be forever my overall favorite creamer. I can't find that anywhere anymore, which is such a tragedy. I love that creamer. So this gets close to it, especially if I, I uh, mix this with, I think it's creme brulee. I can't remember whether there's an, oh no. Or is it sweet cream? I don't know if I, me if I, if I mix, if I mix this with another one. No, if I mix this <laughs> with another one that's kind of more, sweet and vanilla with this gets towards the taste of dolce de leche anyway but if you just like kind of like toffee sort of um flavors i think you will like this even by itself but it's so yummy i'm sure it's not healthy i'm sure it's not good for me but i love the way it tastes i think it's a really good creamer and then lastly please excuse the nasty looking bottle i was going to try to get a new one but apparently i can only find this at kroger um, I don't know if y'all have Kroger's, but I live in Texas and we have Kroger, so that's where I originally got this, but I love this stuff. So I love Frank's Hot Sauce by itself, the original, one of my favorite things. I put that on everything. I mean the phrase, I put that beep on everything, I really do. I even put that on spaghetti, I mean I put it on burgers, I just love it. So I love that, I love sriracha by itself, like just the regular sriracha. But this is the Frank's Red Hot Slammin' Sriracha Chili Sauce. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Like I mix this with um, ketchup for like dipping things in. That's amazing. So no, I just put it on everything. I mean, same thing as like the Frank's, except if you like Frank's and you like Sriracha, this is really, really good. So I'm like so excited to share this with you because I feel like it's one, literally one of my overall favorites for the whole month. Like. I'm more excited about this than some of the makeup because it tastes so good. I love spicy food though, so I love like chili and, well not chili, I love, um, what's in this? I mean it's a chili sauce, but like cayenne pepper. Like I love that kind of spicy sort of food. So if you like spicy foods, if you like Frank's, if you like sriracha, I think you'll really like the Frank's sriracha. All right guys, so that wraps up my April favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this month or maybe not so much loving. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.